Hey guys, what's up? The are here. And in this guide, I will be showing the most effective and most efficient way to kill the Queen Black Dragon with melee after the NPC update on January 14th. The requirements for this guide are high, since this is the most dangerous way to fight the Queen Black Dragon. Good luck on your kills, and have fun. On screen now, you'll see a list of recommended and required levels for the Queen Black Dragon with melee. These include 90 plus constitution with a minimum of 70, 90 plus defense with a minimum of 70, 90 plus attack with a minimum of 75, 90 plus strength with a minimum of 70, 95 prayer with a minimum of 70, 96 herblore for overloads or 85 for super anti-fires is highly recommended, as well as 99 summoning for a steel titan or 77 summoning for a healing titan. These are recommended but you will be required to have 60 as a minimum to enter the Queen Black Dragon's Lair. On screen now you'll see a downgrade list of weapons and armor you can use for the Queen Black Dragon with melee. Always remember to use the best weapons and armor available to your level or that you are able to afford, such as, if you cannot afford Torva, Bandos or Barrow's armor are always a good substitute. On screen now you'll see a list of attacks that the Queen Black Dragon can use throughout her four phases. In phase one, she will use her normal fire breath, as well as her range and melee attack, and be able to summon one firewall. In phase two, she will add to this by being able to summon two firewalls, one tortured soul, gaining the soul's healing ability where she will drain her soul's remaining HP, as well as being able to change her skin to the crystal armor or the hardened carapace. In phase three, she will add to this further being able to summon three firewalls, two tortured souls, and using the previous attacks. In phase four, she will go all out, being able to summon four tortured souls, able to use the time stop ability, as well as her extreme fire breath. On screen now, you'll see an example set of inventory that you can use if you have access to a chaotic maul, steel titan, soul split, and overloads. In addition to this, I'll also be giving you guys a combat bar that is optimized for two-handed weapons to ensure that your kill on the queen is quick and easy. Your first ability will be Slice, second will be Punish, third will be Cleave, fourth will be Smash, fifth will be Sever, sixth will be Fury, seventh will be Hurricane, eighth will be Assault, ninth will be Berserk, and your last three will be your Familiar, Dreadnips if you have them, and your Prayer Potion. On screen now you will see an example set of inventory that you can use if you have access to dual Chaotic Rapiers or Long Swords, a Steel Titan, Overloads, as well as Soul Split. In addition to this, I'll also be giving you guys a combat bar that you can use that will be optimized for dual wielded melee weapons and ensure that you get a quick and easy kill. Your first ability will be Slice, second will be Punish, third will be Havoc, fourth will be Fury, fifth will be Sever, sixth will be Dismember, seventh will be Destroy, eighth will be Assault, ninth will be Berserk, and your last three will be your Familiar, Dreadnips if you have them, as well as your Prayer Potion. On screen now you'll see an example set of inventory that you can use if you plan on using a shield and have access to the Chaotic Rapier, as well as the Dragonfire Shield, a Steel Titan, Overloads, and Soul Split. In addition to this, I'll also be giving you guys a combat bar that not only utilizes your main hand weapon, but your shield as well to ensure quick effective kills as well as low food usage. Your first ability will be Slice, second will be Punish, third will be Fury, fourth will be Anticipation, fifth will be Resonance, 6th will be Sever, 7th will be Revenge, 8th will be Assault, 9th will be Berserk, and the last 3 will be your Familiar, Dreadnips if you have them, and your Prayer Potion. Alright guys, now that you have chosen your setup and inventory, it's time for you to face the Queen Black Dragon. But before you do that, let's make sure you have your Quick Prayer set. Have them set to Protect Item, Soul Split and Termal if you have it, or Protect from Magic, and piety, as you will need it later. Once you have done that, simply pass through the summoning portal and wait for the animation to clear. Once inside the Queen Black Dragon's lair, 
you want to head front row center to right to where she is. After that, make sure to call your familiar if it happens to get stuck behind the first artifact, charge it up if you're using a titan, and then drink your potions, turn on your quick prayers, and prepare for your fight with the queen. Once you first start attacking, you want to use slice, then another ability, back to slice, and then another ability. This will ensure that you always have an ability to use, as well as optimizing the amount of damage that you're actually dealing to the queen. Once you make it up to threshold level, make sure to use assault first, as this will deal a lot of damage to the queen. Throughout the fight, make sure to use your familiar as well as your dreadnips as much as possible. It may not seem like they're doing that much damage, but they are, and they will increase your kill speeds. Once you have damaged the queen enough, you'll be able to tag your first artifact. If you do it quick enough, the queen will not be able to spit out a worm. This is actually good for you since you won't be taking that much damage from other worms later. Should she spawn a soul, you can use the hurricane ability. This will hit the queen as well as the soul, and more than likely it will actually kill the soul, so you won't have to deal with it unless she spawns another one. Now, should you make it up to your ultimate level ability, you want to use Berserk as quickly as possible, and then drink down a dose of Adrenaline Potion. This will put you up closer to your Assault ability again, or any of your other abilities. By using Berserk, you increase your damage output by 100% for 20 seconds. Once you have dealt enough damage, you'll have to run back and hit the second artifact. Now, around this time, she'll probably spawn around maybe two worms. If she happens to turn blue at all during the fight, this is really good, because in this state, she's actually really weak to melee attacks, and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to get any of the forms down that she actually turns blue in. Now, should she summon any souls, remember, your hurricane ability will hit the souls as well as the queen, so you're optimizing your damage output. Every time she spawns the souls, you're going to have to deal with them, either by just ignoring them or actually dealing damage to them. Once you've dealt enough damage, you'll be able to go over to the third artifact and then run back into her. Now, if she happens to use her super uh, fire breath attack, you will not be able to attack her, because if you stand in front of it, you're going to take 1950 damage each time that you're standing there. Now, should she have one of her souls try to use the time stop ability, you're going to have to kill him. And it shouldn't take much to do so, since they're weak to crush. Now, if she summons souls on the fourth phase, you really don't have anything to worry about, since you can easily take these guys out, and you have food. Remember, assault is one of your strongest abilities, so you are going to want to use it. Now, this right here is my favorite thing. If she happens to spawn the firewalls, simply run back and then hit an ability and you'll run back and attack her and just pass through the firewall and only take 750 damage. Now at this point, if the firewalls are still going, you won't be able to reach the artifact without taking a little bit of damage, so you can wait and then go and grab it. But that's pretty much the end of the guide, guys. That's all I can really tell you about the Queen Black Dragon. If you found this informative, then feel free to leave it a like rating. If you are new around here, then feel free to subscribe to my channel for more guides. If you want to keep up to date with whenever uploaded videos are going to be uploaded, then feel free to check out my Twitter. Other than that, guys, I've been Regisaro, and I was always, peace.